Well, multiple whistleblowers are now dropping bombshell after bombshell after bombshell on Congress's head. I've got so much information to show you, and you're not going to want to miss one minute of it. But before I do, I want to remind you, check out preparewithlisa.com. If you guys don't have food storage, now is absolutely the time to get that. You never know when a disaster is going to strike, and uh, we've already been told that we are facing food shortages in the very near future. Please make sure you are not a victim of anything like that and get prepared today. Right now, the great news is it's $250 off of their three-month food supply kit. This is the biggest discount I have ever seen them take on that product. So check it out now by going to preparewithlisa.com. And they are also have a four-week emergency food supply kit on there as well. All right. So just what are these multiple bombshells being dropped, not only on Congress's head, but we the people as well? Well, Multiple whistleblowers have now come out exposing corruption within the FBI. Now, I have been reporting on this very intensely over the past couple of months, and now I've got a massive profile of information just to show you how corrupt this FBI is. For example, here is their latest scandal. Check this out, and this is on ZeroHedge.com. Facebook spied on private messages of conservative right-wing individuals and then reported it to the FBI for domestic terrorism. No joke. Now, I want to go into a little bit more detail into this article, but I'm going to hop on over to the New York Post where uh, they got it from. And it's headlined this, Facebook spied on private messages of Americans who questioned the 2020 election. The article states this, and I quote, Facebook has been spying on the private messages and data of American users and reporting them to the FBI if they express anti-government or anti-authority sentiments or if they question the 2020 election, according to sources within the Department of Justice. Under the FBI collaboration operation, somebody at Facebook red flagged the supposedly subversive private messages over the past 19 months and transmitted them into redacted form to the Domestic Terrorism Operation Unit at the FBI headquarters in Washington, D.C. without a subpoena. Quote, it was done outside the legal process and without probable cause, alleged one of the sources who spoke on condition of anonymity. Facebook provides the FBI with private conversations which are protected by the First Amendment without subpoena. These private messages then have been farmed out as, quote, leads to FBI field offices around the country, which subsequently requested subpoenas from the partner U.S. attorney's office in their district to officially obtain the private conversations that Facebook had already showing them. Now, this article goes on to say, and that's just, I got to hit the pause button right there because that is very, very profound. First of all, Facebook goes, hey, we red flagged this. Look at this Trump supporter over here. He's holding a gun and, you know, he's talking about the U.S. election, something he didn't like. Here you go. Let's pass it over to your domestic terrorist unit. And then the FBI takes it and says, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm now going to go and request this information legally because I got a lead about it. And we're going to go ask for something we already have, you know, to make it official. This is massive corruption on a level we have never seen before. But then it goes on to describe just who it is exactly that they're after, right? More specifically, it says, the Facebook users whose private communications Facebook had red flagged as domestic terrorism for the FBI were all, all of them, conservative right-wing individuals. Quote, they were gun-toting red-blooded Americans who were angry after the election and shooting off their mouths and talking about staging protest. There was nothing criminal, nothing about violence or massacring or assassinating anyone. As soon as a subpoena was requested, within an hour, Facebook sent back gigabytes of data and photos. It was ready to go. They were just waiting for that legal process so that they could send it. And of course, Facebook denied the allegations of the whistleblower, but it goes on to describe who they were not targeting. And it says this, they, Facebook and the FBI, were looking for conservative right-wing individuals. None, zero, were the Antifa type. 
That is chilling to the core, especially, especially when you know, uh, when you realize uh, that Biden has been pressuring the FBI to target, well, extremists like, you know, white supremacists so he can, he can back his claim that they're the most extreme threat to the United States of America. However, they're not. You see, that article goes on to state this, and this is a very important part here. The DOJ sources have decided to speak to the Post and risk their careers, and they are at risk, because they are concerned that federal law enforcement has been politicized and is abusing the constitutional rights of innocent Americans. And they say, more whistleblowers are ready to join them. And I really pray that you guys come forward there. And it says, quote, the most frightening thing is the combined power of big tech colluding with the enforcement arm of the FBI, says one whistleblower. Google, Facebook, and Twitter, these companies are globalist. They do not have our national interests at heart. And that's coming from these whistleblowers and these leakers out of the DOJ. They're coming from the DOJ. They're coming from the FBI. But doesn't that tell you something when they're going after only one type? And again, they are being pressured by the White House. But pressure aside, obviously, this is something the upper top of the FBI and DOJ want them to do. In fact, take a look here. And this is also a recent article, uh, WashingtonTimes.com, and it's headlined, Biden accused of pressuring FBI to fabricate extremist and white supremacist cases. It goes on. Rank and file FBI agents are accusing the Biden administration of exaggerating the threat of white supremacists and pressuring agents to cook up domestic terrorist cases involving racist extremists. Current and former FBI agents told the Washington Times that the perceived white supremacist threat is over blown by the administration. They said top bureau officials are pressuring FBI agents to create domestic terrorist cases and to tag people as white supremacists to meet internal metrics. Gotta meet a quota, gotta meet a quota. Quote, the demand for white supremacy coming from FBI headquarters vastly outstrips the supply of white supremacy, said one agent who spoke on the condition of anonymity. And he says this, and this is a very powerful point here. We have more people assigned to investigate white supremacists than we can actually find. Uh Uh-oh, Lucy, we have a problem. Apparently, that's my favorite saying this week. (sighs) Hello, hello. So the lower part of the FBI is getting the word from the upper ranks of the FBI. You better get those white supremacists. You better crack down on that because that's the biggest threat right now to the United States of America, according to the Biden administration. You know, all those MAGA supporters go after them in full. Well, now whistleblower after whistleblower after whistleblower after whistleblower are coming out. This is good news, right? We need to, to uh, well, get rid of the entire upper ranks of the FBI. It needs to be disbanded. It needs to be defunded. And all the bad people need to be gotten out of the FBI because now it is only being used as a weaponization of a political office. Amen and amen. Amen, 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 amen to myself there on that one. But here it is. On the epictimes.com, 14 FBI whistleblowers have come forward, says Representative Jordan. Here we have multiple whistleblowers coming forward telling Congress we have problems, we have issues, there's things going on at the FBI, and they're they're telling all of this information to Congress. Right now, the FBI, the DOJ are obviously denying it. You know, they're not really politicized like all these whistleblowers are claiming and all the Americans are seeing. In fact, let me remind you of some of the corruption that the FBI has just has done. Here's actually a new one. You may not have heard this one, uh, but this is massive. This came out on, uh, well, September 15th. So here it is. FBI whistleblower says, and this is an, another one, says that Bureau labeled a veteran-led group as a domestic terrorist organization. A veteran-led group. That's a domestic terrorist. Wow. And what does the FBI say? Oh, we, we, we can't designate domestic terrorist organizations. Oh, you can't? 
That's your response. Well, here's some other corruption, just as a quick reminder, Epic Times, uh, or no, excuse me, uh, yahoonews.com, national review there. FBI whistleblowers claim agents investigated parents accused of threatening school boards over the mask policy. Then we also have Grassley, Senate.gov. This is coming straight from Chuck Grassley, our senator. Whistleblowers, with an S, reports reveal double standard in pursuit of politically charged investigation by senior Senior FBI and DOJ officials, multiple whistleblowers, including those in senior positions, are raising the alarm about tampering by senior FBI and Justice Department officials in politically sensitive investigations ranging from election and campaign finance probes across multiple election cycles to investigative activity involving derogatory information on Hunter Biden's financial and foreign business activities. So big question there. Did they do something with Trump's information? But I digress. Here's some more. This is on Fox News. FBI actually purged conservatives and critic and those who were critical of January 6th narrative. Whistleblowers tell GOP lawmakers. Then we have American Military News leak FBI document labels extremists as those who carry the Betsy Ross flag, those who believe in the Second Amendment and those who believe in the Gatson flag. Uh, And here's like a quick look at that. And not only that, but I find this interesting. And I got this next article here that I want to show you, but I want to make this statement. Um, The Biden administration is obviously, has obviously weaponized the FBI. And this next report, I'm going to show you how any threat to the Biden administration, uh, then the Biden administration then six his lapdogs, the FBI, on those who he doesn't like. Case in point, right? You guys are going to just check this out. Foxnews.com. Biden administration is now considering litigation against the GOP governors over migrants sent to Democrat cities. In other words, I, Biden, do not like what you're doing, Governor Santis and Abbott and uh, Ducey. I don't like you guys. So I'm going to sick my lapdogs, the FBI and the Department of Justice on you because, you know, yeah, because I can do that. But don't worry, I'm not using them as a political weapon. Wink, wink. <laughs> stupidity here's the other stupidity in the middle of the night i recall the biden administration doing under the cover of darkness the exact same thing Biden, he did they did it his administration did it but now since it's done in the cover of light by republicans oh the outrage and the stupid hypocrisy of the left i can't i can't i know i I don't even want to i mean there's so much i want to say on them being bused to martha's vineyard oh my gosh uh they're having a humanitarian crisis over 50 people on the island wait what what about at the border you know where millions are coming in they they don't have a no crisis over there but hey i guess that only applies to the really rich liberals I thought they were very, I thought I thought they were open arms. Why aren't they opening their homes? I'm just saying. Anyhow, I love all of you. Wanted to bring you the latest on all of that. Just as a quick reminder, um, get to restrictedrepublic.com. I can't stress this enough. Uh, I've got amazing information on there that you're absolutely going to want to see. We have exclusive content that we don't post anywhere else. We've got five exclusive videos uh, on minimum that we post each and every single week. You've got Justice Knight on there, myself on there, and I'm hopefully uh, going to bring on some new uh, 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 blood here soon as well, uh, who is going to give great information and great content. Uh, but right now, if you really want to be in the know about about what's going on. I've got the time and the effort that I am pouring into those videos at Restricted Republic, but get that exclusive content that you're not going to get anywhere else. Go to RestrictedRepublic.com and right now you can get it for $3.99 per month. Use the coupon code FJB and that'll give it to you uh, the entire first year at that rate. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven signing out.